Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixelab.net. Today I want to talk to you quickly about uh, the new plugin from Video Copilot Element. So there's been tons of videos out on this already, tons of tutorials, so I'm not going to really get into uh, a tutorial, but I just kind of want to give you my two cents on it. So this little animation took me about 20 minutes to make, and uh, it's very, very fast to render. So you can already see that you can get some pretty cool stuff rendering out of Element. The thing that makes me most excited is the text and working with text in there. Um, this is not a perfect plugin. A lot of people have had uh, some complaints with it, and uh, it's definitely not a 3D package. Uh, it's, you can't model in it. You can't uh, do a lot of things in it that you would in a 3D package. Uh, but what I think the power of it is uh, kind of simple uh, 3D text, that kind of stuff in After Effects. This is really going to save you a lot of time. The reason is, uh, I mean, look at this. There is no rendering involved, and we have a perfectly 3D object in our scene. Uh, we can go ahead and set up our camera move, render it out, and uh, we can even play around with the lighting instantly and see updated results instantly without rendering. So that alone is going to save you tons of time. Um, and the ability to bring in 3D objects such as I brought in some trusses into this guy and uh, all of a sudden you have kind of a 3D virtual scene. So if we built this scene in Cinema 4D, uh, we would be able to build this scene a lot faster and texture it and light it a lot faster. The problem is after that we'd probably have a minute uh, per frame render to get out of there and then we'd have to bring it in here, add our lens flares and color correction, all that kind of stuff. Whereas Right now you can see that we've got our lens flare, we've got our color correction, everything's ready to go. All we have to do is set up our camera move and render it out. Um, so anytime you're going to be doing uh, kind of text work or simpler uh, kind of title animations, I would actually consider using Element completely in my workflow. So the way to set this up is so easy. You just make a text layer, go ahead and add Element, and then down in your custom layers, you just select your uh, text custom layer. And then you have your text that's already set up and ready to extrude. And just look at that, absolutely beautiful. And we can go ahead and change our textures very easily. Um, we have our textures here. And I actually started this scene by kind of picking one of these basic bevels that comes with it. So I just picked a bevel and then I went ahead and went to my pro shaders, picked out some different metals and just started dropping them on there until I found something that I, that I liked. And uh, so you can see that instantly you're getting results, so that doesn't look very good. Let's undo that. So that is all you have to do, and then boom, you know, we've got it updated. If we don't like this font, all we have to do is go into our font, drop it down to something else, and our font is different. So uh, the flexibility and the way that you can go ahead and light this with uh, without having to render, you can kind of see dynamically instantly what you're doing. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. So let's talk about the, the shortcomings of this. For one thing, when you bring in complex models, it starts to get a little bit hairy. Uh, it does take a lot of time to prep models in uh, Element. So here's the trusses. This one is a very simple object, so I just brought it in by hitting import, and then I brought in a Cinema 40 file, and I just retextured it by throwing on some black metal. Go ahead, hit OK, and uh, that's about it. Then I went into the trusses, and I went into the particle replicator, and you can think about this as a simple cloner object, and you can literally just clone an object and then just space it out with these scales. So this is kind of simulating the cloner object and it will be very intuitive. So the thing about this plugin is it's it takes a little bit of time to kind of set up your scene and texture it and do everything that you want, uh, but you need to remember the fact that you don't need to render it out of Cinema 4D. And if you want to change your, your uh, camera move or your colors or anything like that, it is instant. So I think what you need to wrap your head around is uh, spending a little bit more time on the upfront part in building your scene and texturing it in um, Element and remembering that you're going to save a ton of time in the long run and not getting frustrated with that. So it is definitely worth uh, playing around and figuring out how to fit this in your workflow. I'm definitely going to do this for a lot of title animations. Um, the couple things that I want to warn you about are uh, there are no shadows. So you can do kind of a fake ambient occlusion, um, but that does slow things down quite a bit. Uh, besides that, it is a very fast plugin. You can even put on motion blur. All you have to do is put on motion blur for your comp and boom, there you go. And you can add depth of field very easily. So just go to your depth of field and turn that on. And the depth of field does a very nice job as well in selling the realism. So 
The one thing that I do want to warn you about is if your lighting is too harsh, you're going to get some anti-aliasing on the specular. So you can see that we're getting a, a little bit of kind of jagged edges on these. That's something that you need to be careful with. Uh, you need to make sure that your reflections are not too high in the texture or that your lighting is not too high because those speculars are going to start having some problems with anti-aliasing. So the lack of shadows and uh, kind of having to finagle around with the anti-aliasing, those are the two main problems that I've had. Uh, uh, but I've been able to kind of overcome them and figure out uh, ways to work around them. So I guess it's up to you if you think this plugin is a game changer or not. Um, I honestly think I'll probably start spending a lot more time in After Effects using this, especially when dealing with text. Besides that though, once we start getting to more complicated scenes and modeling, uh, nothing's going to replace Cinema 4D. So I think this is just another tool in your tool belt and it does have its place. And I think it's a very, very powerful plugin with tons of possibilities. So again, I made this little animation in about 20 minutes and it uh, rendered out really quick. So you can see the power of Element. Even though there are some limitations, I think this is a huge step in the right direction. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, I know I've had some comments that people are not as thrilled about it as they thought they were going to be. I think that's the nature of all plugins. Uh, you kind of set them up uh, in your mind that they're going to fix all of your problems. And really, they're just a tool uh, that you need to figure out how to use and implement uh, to pull off uh, your vision. So that's my overview. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll talk again next time. Bye.